What is up guys, welcome back to another episode of Wii Sports Resort. Today we're going to be doing bowling. Um, this is another voiceover because I was playing at like 3 or 4 a.m. last night, don't judge me. Um, anyway, we're going for the perfect game in bowling. So we have to do, I think it's 12 consecutive strikes. Yes, 12 strikes in a row, and that is the only way we get this stamp. So if, even if we miss one strike, if we spare it, it doesn't matter, we have to get a strike. So I'm going to do my old strategy down the middle, um, but it needs to be a little bit to the left, but not too much to the left. Yeah, you've seen the strat before. So we're going to try this strat, see how it goes. Hopefully, hopefully it's not terrible. I'm trying to line myself up a little off center because that seems to be a huge part of that. And then straight and narrow. If it has any spin at all, the 7, the 9, the 5 pin, someone decides to defy me and I get really sad. So... We just have to make sure we hit it, and honestly, right now we're looking good. We're three for three. I'm feeling great. I'm like, we could get this done. First attempt of the night, awesome. Well, you know, line myself up perfectly again, but I had to open up my big fat mouth because for some reason that's a perfect throw, and the seven pin just said no. So you know what? I'm done. I reset. I'm like, you know what? I need a new strategy. So I looked up a strat, and I'm going to do the what I call the banana curve throw, which is what actual like pro bowlers do, where they aim for the gutter and they curve it in. That was a beautiful, honestly. So you have to line yourself up in the middle and then get yourself right about to that arrow. I like to center myself off a little bit because I don't have as much spin as I need usually. So that's how that works out. I see a lot of people actually line themselves up on the arrow, but I actually just line myself up right beside it, and I have basically the same effect because my Wiimote is broken and barely works, so I don't get as much spin as most people. But I still get enough, so we're doing good. I got another turkey, but that's only um, a fourth of the way there. We have to get 12, and we're on three, so... Here we go, lining myself up, really trying to get this one down. The closer you can get to the center of the circle, the better. And broken Wemo inbound. There's like zero curve. So that round is just gone. So I try a new strategy. This is about 30 minutes later. I'm like, what if I line myself up on this arrow? What would happen? I just want to see. Lo and behold, I got a strike. I'm like, okay. Is that, I mean, that looked really good, but is that, was it a fluke? So I do it again. And I get another strike. So I'm like, okay, we might have found a new strat. And the seven pin is not defying me here, so this is great. So what I'm doing is finding the middle arrow and then going to that the very next arrow on the right and then lining up in the dead center of that arrow. And it is just enough to be off-centered from the middle pin and have enough force to hit everything. So this is my recommendation if you want the perfect game. This is how I would do it, at least as a righty. I don't know if left hand thrower impacts anything. It probably would. Um, but yeah, line yourself up, get in the center of this arrow. You can, I mean, by eye shot, you can probably tell what the center is. Center is in quotes. But this is the strat that I use, and it's going great right now. I'm loving life, um, but I've gotten up to n the ninth frame with the other strategy before, so I'm trying not to get too ahead of myself because it is very easy to be like, oh, I got this, and then like the tenth frame, just throw it all away. But honestly, it's not too bad right now. I'm getting used to the muscle memory of what the center looks like, what it feels like, what it is. We're doing good. Yep, that's center. So here we go. Launch it. Again, straight and narrow. You don't want any curve on this thing. Even the slightest curve will mess it up. We are three-fourths of the way there. We need four more bulls. That's one. Nine in a row. Right now, my heart is pounding. I'm like, all right. If I mess it up here, I'm never going to live it down. It's, it's That would just be terrible, wouldn't it? 
comedic timing. It's not going to strike here. Ten in a row. Yeah, that's pretty much center. I'm sure you can be a few pixels off. I don't think the game's going to hinder you. That was so lucky. I threw that slow, and if that one pin did not do a somersault into his pin brethren, would not have gotten that. And it was the seven pin, of course. So you need to throw it with some speed, but straight and narrow. And there you guys have it. The perfect game. That's my recommendation. Righty, just get on the arrow that is next to the middle arrow. Perfect. perfect. And that is the perfect game. That is the stamp. Sadly, that won't work for spin control, nor will it work for 100 pin bowling. Because in one, there's 100 pins, not 10. And two, one has like barriers just on the field. So we can't, you know, bowl straight down, you know, Broadway and get a strike every time. Sadly, I know. It's a new record. Perfect score, which means we get you the stamp. It. And now we have all stamps in standard bowling. We have two things to go. I think we have two stamps in spin control, pin dropper and English major. And then, of course, we have the um, pin dropper and 100 pin bowling. I'll see you guys next time for whatever stamp we go for next.